What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna be getting our hands on something very new and very exciting, and we're going to be putting it on clickbait to be testing it out. So what I've been looking into for the last couple weeks, mainly since Brash and Nats with how bloody cold it was, was um, some form of oil warmer. Now on clickbait, um, we have a wet sump setup. We don't have a dry sump or anything like that. So I, I am well aware that with uh, dry sumps, there is many options on how to warm your oil because you have your own tank. It's not on the bottom of the engine. And I used to think that it was a dry sump only luxury. Until today, until today, there is finally in the Australian market that'll work with without an inverter, without having to carry any extra crazy things with you, there is finally a product that will stick to the bottom of your sump, a wet sump designed for an LS, and you could warm your oil at events, uh, cut down that time on, on wasting fuel and uh, added aggression on the engine and wear and tear of warming it up. There is actually now a product designed specifically for it. So I'm gonna stop talking, let's take a look. So right here, this is the product. So this is literally like a rubberized heat mat and it sticks, it is measured to fit directly on the bottom of a sump. So this literally just sticks onto the bottom. Then you've got your cable just here and you plug that into 240 and boom, straight away starts warming. Now I have this one that doesn't have any adhesive on the back. So I can, so this one we can actually turn on and kind of like show people with it. So I'm gonna take this inside, I'm gonna give it to Indy and I'm gonna turn it on to show you all how quickly it warms up and how effective it is. And then obviously we've got, this is what you'll, what you'll get when you buy one. So it's just got a little caution in there. Do not apply power to mat before installation. That's because it has its 3M adhesive on the back. And if you were to turn it on, uh, if you were to plug it in while this adhesive, uh, before you've peeled the backing off this, you're pretty much gonna stuff it all completely. So tech tip, do not turn it on until you've actually applied it onto the sump. So take this one inside now and we're gonna go give it to Indians and show you how it works. All right, so I'm gonna give you this. Literally just. Plug it in. Now it's freezing cold. Mm -hmm. Just flicked it on. Oh. <laughs> you can actually hear it too. Yeah, it's like warm everywhere. Yeah, and it's like already hot. Not just one section. Okay, so that's starting to get really hot. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll turn it off before it burns <laughs> you. But that, yeah, that, especially at a cold event, that is going to get your oil hot, like instantly. Like within five or 10 minutes, your oil is going to be towards like running temperature already before you've even turned your car on. All right, so now I've got Indy out here and she's gonna help me stick it on. So we're literally just gonna jack up the car so we can get underneath, like underneath the engine so we can get to the sump, give it a quick clean, a good clean, stick it on, find where, find a way to route the cable where we're gonna put it. And then we're gonna give it a test and get the engine, uh, engine oil up to temp because there's a little bit of methanol in there. So we're gonna more or less be able to see it burn away right before our eyes. So very exciting. Uh, I'm gonna jack the car up. Jack stands. All right, so now I've literally just got a bit of brake cleaner. Just soak the whole thump. Get all the little cracks and little little movement spots, and I don't know what a movement spot is. You gotta make sure you've got everything off. Good technique, good form. This is not my first sump cleaning. <laughs> Ready to stick. <laughs> this 3M adhesive is super sticky. Once it's on, it is on, so. That's what you want. So one of the other things, cause these things, like they have these in the States in in the very cold climate areas so like and in canada they're massive in canada but none of them actually come with like an adhesive back on it they all come like with either like a weird epoxy or like a silicon based product where you cram it on stick it on there roll it out and it's just really ugly and like just ugly and messy whereas this is literally just peel and stick so I'll get under here figure out where i want to put it I'm nervous. Don't say that, you're gonna make me nervous. It's now on there, and then I'll route this up under the frame somewhere so that it's easy access, so you can literally just run an extension lead in and boom, job's done. Now, I'm just gonna plug it in now so that it can warm up and I'll uh, we'll get a little bit of a test out of it. Once it warms up, it should really let this adhesive stick in there nicely too. Alrighty, so I've just plugged it in. Literally only just did it and it's already like too hot to touch pretty much. 
which is good because now it'll like really set the glue on there nicely. So I'm gonna give this a couple minutes. We're gonna come back in five or ten, have another look at it and see uh, see how it's going, seeing if the oil is cooking. All right, so swapping over to this camera now. You can see just down there, I've zip tied it like pretty much off just the sway bar, just so it's sitting there. And then from underneath, so that at the lowest point, it can never like catch the prongs and pull the plug. But now you just run a freaking extension lead. Bob's your uncle. I felt the side of the sump, not the bottom where it's heating, the side and it was warm to the touch. Now, if you come over here, you can actually smell like warm oil, like oil the way that it's supposed to be kind of thing at temperature. And as you'll see in that time lapse, I was pulling the dipstick out. It's crazy because you can actually feel the warmth, obviously, because the dipstick's in the oil. Wow. Look at that. The oil is 100% clean. Damn, I should have shown you before, but there was methanol in it. Now it's clean. That is freaking insane. All right, so there you have it. That is literally like the best thing you can do for your engine, keeping your oil up to temp, because when it is cold, especially in like a winter event, like brashinets or something, it is like sludge, like actual sludge. And your engine doesn't like that. It's not gonna be getting it to the top of the engine. It's not gonna be pushing it through the heads, pushing it through all the galleries and everything. It's just, it's not gonna be good. So just like how changing your oil can be the best thing for your engine, Warming up your oil can also be the best thing for your engine. And for $110, these things are the best insurance that you can have for your engine. So I will link them down below. Um, P1 Australia, they are actually like designed and produced straight out of Canberra here in Australia. That is where P1's from. He's got some incredible stuff over there. I wanna show you guys more of the other stuff he's got, but that's where I'm gonna wrap up today's video. I wanted to keep this sweet, show you how incredible this product is and it is going to revolutionize, especially the burnout scene, especially for all the guys that are wet sump like myself. Um, it is absolutely mind blowing. Now he does have dry sump warmers. He has engine block heaters which are in, I need to show you that I'm going to go over to his place and film it so that you can actually see what it is but it is insane to see how it, like how awesome this product is and I know it's going to take the take the freaking burnout scene by storm especially for the price you would be silly to not run one but that is where I'm going to wrap up today's video so hope you guys really enjoyed that one new product on the market and it is going to do insane things alrighty guys catch you in the next one take it easy peace <laughs>